Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner on our hard mode series. You join us back in Island Lake, picking up where we left off. We were en route to the uh, Flame and Barrels uh, contest, which should be easy enough. We've got an overkill trailer for it, but that's fine. We'll, we'll take overkill. And then once we've got this done, we're off to pick up some more old drilling equipment for the harbour delivery. All things going well. Sorry, little cut there. Uh, I was concerned that we'd come in and be, uh, be buried. But we're, we were all good, all good. Now this when we spawn it, I think it should sort of come in just the other side of that stump. So if we say yes, there it is, right. And if I remember rightly, we have to drop it off over at the um, sort of warehouse area. I forget what it's called. It probably said on there and I didn't read it. Typical, typical me. Like I said, overkill trailer. But it's what, it's, it's what we've got. check on the map. I was correct, right. In thinking, yeah. Over on the barrel platform. So we've got about eight eight minutes? They're normally about eight minutes, aren't they? We shouldn't like I said, we shouldn't struggle with this at all, but you never know. We shouldn't struggle with anything, we always do. We always do. So anyway, thank you for returning. Hope you're enjoying the series. I'm trying to do my best to keep it as regular as I can. Unfortunately, recording time hasn't been easy to come by at the minute, but doing my best, doing my best. Trust me, no one wants to progress on this more than me. <laughs> if I could, we'd put out three of these a day. It's a little bit like with my normal mode series that we stream. I just can't wait to get a Michigan and try a new challenge. As much as I've struggled and messed up here in Michigan, Michigan's you know relatively easy, and I've seen Michigan so many times. I've you know I've started but never really gotten far on a hard mode with uh, with Michigan. Never, <laughs> never far at all. And I've never attempted anything on any other maps or hardwise, so I just want to get there and you know test myself a little bit, test myself in the snow, test myself in what I now know to be some horrendous mud in uh, time there. See if we can pick up a little bit of pace in some high range. Probably going to regret it as we hit the mud, but we'll see what we can do. The west is pretty decent. Once we've, uh, once we've dropped this off, we then have to head back over in that sort of direction. But we don't have to. There is there is a container that we can grab um, near where we're going. There's one on the floor. We can unload one. But there's also the old drilling equipment is still sitting in one of the old drill sites. And if we take that, then I believe it's the last one and we clear them all out. That's why I'd go and get that one over, taking the others. 
having the advantage of taking the one on the ground at the warehouse point or whatever it's called is obviously you don't have to pay for it. I think if we go back we we pay to auto load despite the fact that it's sort of the, the only way of getting them out of the drill sites. I think the last time last time out we just sort of pop pop did them really quickly so I should really pay a bit more attention shouldn't I? Just checking I'm not on a regret that I didn't grab some fuel. We should be good. Half a tank loads. We're going to be brave and we're going to take on these lovely bridges. How we love them so. Use the low gear, get a little bit more control of the vehicle for this. Coming this way is usually a lot easier. It's, it's going back, trying to take that tight turn onto the bridge. That's the challenge. I know a few people just tend to go along beside it. A bit of winching and what have you. Now, th this is being recorded around about five, six days since the last one was recorded behind the curtain and uh, yeah all of our tracks are still here I know I'm obsessed with saying it but our chewed up land is still chewed up remembering not to cut that corner again It was more than eight minutes, I'm not sure. Throw the winch out for this one. We're out. We should be good. We should be good. Come on. No sweat. So yeah, that one on the floor there. That one we could pick up and, and load in the back. But. We're not gonna. They can keep that. There we go. Plenty of time. We're nearly up to a hundred grand. Look at that. 
Who would have thought we'd ever reach a hundred grand the way that we've been spending it willy-nilly? Not I, I tell you, not I. So we need to make our way out. See, they're saying we can pick up there or we can load from there, but I, I want to get one out of the drill site. Because we can pick one up here. That's the one I want. That's the one that will give us the animation for clearing out the drills. And that's what we're doing. So that's what we're going to get. Wheel tug. Let's get this moving. Now I'm not sure what time we we left last step last episode, but when we came in it was about past eight. And I'm, I don't think we were that late, so what happened there I don't know. We were trying to swing round to that seven o'clock start stop time. And we seem to have progressed an hour without wanting to. Head back through the sawmill lumber yard. Yeah, lumber mill. There we go. You say one word from each attempt, we got that right. Must remember to stop and grab some fuel on the way up, though. Because once we pick this one up, we are heading through to Drummond Island, and we've got to take it to the port. And again, off the top of my head, I can't recall if we've moved the large fuel trailer yet or not. Whether I've pulled that around to a better spot. I like to have it on the opposite side of the river. This is that's where more of the action is, and later on that's where we'll be driving through a little bit more. Although for quite a few things, if we head into Drummond, we'll probably head in via Island Lake. I think it's often one of those six or one, half a dozen of the other when it comes to is it quicker to try and climb the the hills of um, Smithville Dam to get through into Drummond or is it easier to cross the swamp and then just straight along here to get into Drummond I think it depends on your load really going forward all of our loads are going to be pretty big coming in and out so that northern northern which it is northern actually probably southern 
that's the southern entrance. This one over here. Ah, oh, that's west. I don't know it's to be west. I'm quite sure which way the map is flipped around on us. Yeah, this is long and thin, goes east to west as you come in, doesn't it? So this is our western entrance that comes into the southern part of Drummond Island, I believe. I believe that's how it works. Now I have to have a look because I forget, and it is that one. Should have marked me map up. Once we've loaded up, we'll check the time. It'll probably be, I don't know, probably about one o'clock already. If not even later. I feel like my mornings just race away from me when we're trying to get stuff done. After this one, we've got we got some big jobs, and we've got we've got a tough job to do as well. One that I'm not looking forward to trying on hard mode and recording for everyone to see. that something didn't enjoy itself there did it I'm gonna loop around grab it on the way out But yeah, once we've got this, we should be, uh, be clear of all old drilling equipment then. So 150, yeah, we do, we do pay. Oh, that hasn't got rid of. I thought that was the last one. What else have we got to do then to make that disappear? Oh blimey. Twenty past three already. And there have been occasions on this particular run in the past where I have, I have lost this, this cargo. Oh dear, how do you lose a massive one like this? I have, I have rolled with this on the map before, like twice. So we probably won't take the particular route where that happens. Not, not that it happens all the time, but just on two occasions I have gone that route. It has. One of those occasions was when we live streamed it, which was good. I don't mind the roll and the tipping when we do the live streams. Makes it entertaining, makes it fun. Have a good laugh at me. And there's no extra cost because we do it on normal. I do not want to be rolling my work western with my big trailer and my massive cargo. Not today, thank you very much. So I've just talked it up. It will happen.
I think we should be fine in high range. We'll see. Probably get loosey goosey, clip the tree, and <laughs> that'll be where we lose it. Yeah, chew out of the way. Cower at my presence. If memory serves, we have a scout fuel trailer up at the uh, up at the tunnel. do indeed, there it be. So we will grab some of that. Yes, please and thank you. Oh, I'll stall it. Right, off to Drummond. We've seen this plenty of times. Let's get going now. Back up to start with, because we've got to go this way. in front rather than underneath me please so where we want to go let's just have a little butchers is we're going to take the path all the way around because that can be a bit tight so we're not going to do that uh, we're going to go around on the path I have this is where I've lost it before. This is a nice little shortcut. But there's a, a little hump down there. And twice I've clipped that with my trailer and lost my cargo there. So we are going to go around. going to be extra cautious. Across the bridge. And across the bridge. We'll probably grab some fuel as we go through. Because we like to do that. And then through to the port. What I will do... Uh, no, I shouldn't need to mark anything up. I will probably have to. But we'll come back in here and have a little look. Is there a truck over here? What have we got over there? Fleet Star. Okay. And... The Land Rover's here as well still. Okay, okay. Did it wrong already? I do this all the time. Honestly, the amount of times over the years I've gone down there when I want to turn right, it, it's, uh, it's, it's scary how often I've done that. And we only just looked at the map. <laughs> It's a wonder we've made it this far into the series, really, when you, when you look at it like that. It's a, it's a wonder. Oh, dear. are we ever going to finish Michigan? Probably not.
here, down there. There is a little thing, and I've, like I say, got stuck on it a number of times, and I don't fancy doing it today. Call me a chicken if you wish. I will happily be a chicken. Because I don't want to have to jump into the <laughs> jump into the fleet star, go all the way back to the garage, change out, put the big crane on the back to be able to lift the cargo, lift our trailer, and lift this fleet star back up again. No, thank you. Not, not me. That's not my idea of uh, hard mode fun. It's like zooming me into the truck at the moment. We're not even getting stuck. Remember when we bobbed down the river? That was a good day, wasn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Fun, fun times, my friends. Fun times. Wow, we are struggling. What is going on? Oh, wow. Okay. You know what we need to do? There we go. The trick of making the cargo lighter. Still not liking that though, is it? As if. Can you tell I've always done this with uh, <laughs> bigger vehicles, newer vehicles? Oh no, I want to grab that. There we go. That was a worry, wasn't it? Oh, you know what's a worry? Let's, let's pack it again, shall we? Still better than uh, getting it stuck as you cross the river and rolling it over. I'd much prefer to deal with a bit of winching in the mud up a hill. You know, it's not the worst thing if I drive through and uh, refill from there, but we'll uh, we'll get it from our tanker. This is all ours. I don't think we've took much from it, to be fair. And this is oh, it took a bit. And we're going to be moving that, hopefully, next.
Look at that. Deep, deep in the mud. And it's a heavy trailer. Help them hand up. Well, I was wondering why that was pointing to out us. The uh, she's saying that there are other ones we could have collected. That confused me. So no, we're definitely going to the port. Here is not helping us. Just need to push through. What we're going to do again is this is reasonably flat. We shouldn't have too much trouble. So I feel like we are moving super slow. And again, I know there's no rush, but did like to get there today. So he's not going to help. Here we go, a little bit of tarmac. Not for long, but a little bit of tarmac. There you go, that was it. <laughs> that was the easy bit. <laughs> I feel like it really doesn't like us using our diff lock. Like we're constantly getting flashed to switch it off, but then within seconds it's like back in the mud, get it on. Just allow us a little bit more time with it. I'll turn it off when I know we don't need it. our beautiful bridge that we built. 
all us this was. I get that there's been a, a massive flood and a storm and what have you, but you're in a pretty shoddy state to begin with if you end up looking like this afterwards as well, I think. Especially with your road network. this one off in the corner not sure what the payment was on this probably six seven grand I'd be surprised if it's more than that oh let's pack it oh it wasn't even that look 4750 but we are over a hundred grand Watch me, uh, watch me screw up now. Right, so next, what I'd like to do is go and grab the uh, semi trailer and probably bring it here. I think that'd be a good spot for it because we've got to come through and grab that large trailer and bring that out. And we've got to get a vehicle here with to do that, so that's going to require fuel. And I do believe we now have where well, it's not unlocked yet. So we've got to finish out with the old. So it's the construction rig semi, two beams, and then the uh, oil rig drill. So that'll be sort of the next big job. Oh, left me. Oh, I've got to stop doing that, haven't I? I leave, leave this running all the time. I think we did that on stream a few weeks ago. I was busy pottering about doing things and what have you. I'd left the plumbing truck running. I'd come back in and we were empty. Uh, not cool. I haven't got stuck on. You are joking me. What on earth have I done? How have I done that? Carelessness, obviously. another trailer somewhere but I want this one
If you can't get off it, how do you get on it? That's what I want to know. the other bit. Thank you. Yeah, what was that all about, eh? There's always something for me. There's always something. Right, what's the time? One in the morning. Right. Let's just sort my fuel out. Now there's a bit of a shortcut if you go down and across there as well, but again, I'm not going to risk that, not at night, not on hard mode. Little rub that'll come out. <laughs> now, since nothing sort of <laughs> repairs when we go in the garage, I hate to think what our trucks are going to be like at the end. They are going to be so bad and abused. Do <laughs> better do them well, not to look like crumbled up bits of paper already. I think that in itself should probably be commended at the moment. Now, I don't want to leave this one in the way. Not too much in the way, anyway. So I'm just going to park it here. Rather than, like, unnecessarily pull it through when I don't need to. Oh, she feels light and capable now. We must have pulled that repair trailer through already. 
that I've just moved it somewhere else. Give him a little toot toot on the way through. Want to feel ignored. Oh, I could have gone the uh, the river route, it would have been easier, wouldn't it? What are you doing, man? Oh no, this will be fine. This is fine, actually, yeah. I'm doing fine, I'm doing, I'm going the right way, it's alright, I'm going the right way. I was thinking um, the lumber yard, weren't I? The logging. We'll have some. Of course we will. Now once I've got this in position, I need to uh, go and find where I've left my P16. Because we'll want that to pull the, uh, the massive trailer. I'm not going to do it with this, and I think we need a high saddle anyway. Go on, go. Now, I was watching uh, someone on, on Twitch the other day, and they were, it was their very first time of playing SnowRunner. You know, they were having fun, they were making mistakes, as we all do. I experienced playing myself, and I make plenty of mistakes. But I like watching new people, because I like watching people discover and, and figure it out, and, you know, get to grips with it. It's, I think that's sort of the best part of SnowRunner, is figuring it out and working out where you should be going and what to do and what works well with what and I was, I was enjoying the stream and then after about I think it was like 30 40 minutes someone sort of came into the chat and were like oh if you want I'll hop into discord and I'll help you and I, I think this person was I don't know, maybe relatively new to Twitch or really just sort of allowing of people in their community but this chap then uh, jumped in their Discord and then was obviously audible on their stream because they were talking to someone else who was um, playing. And I just felt like that really ruined the stream and the experience for the, the viewers watching because suddenly all viewer interaction was gone because the streamer was no longer asking the viewers you know, for help or guidance or having a laugh with them. Because they constantly had this other person who's not in game with them. Just tell them everything, every step of the way. And that, oh, that just really killed the stream for me. If you're that person, <laughs> and for whatever reason you watch me, 
I don't say I apologize. I don't apologize. Right? Like it just it just killed it. it. There was there was no reason to watch that anymore because we were no longer watching the new person play. It just it just went. I was really disappointed with that. Just just someone came in and just just completely took over. Like with everything, it, it, like it didn't even wait until the person got stuck or was struggling with anything. Like it just already given out like the the next two or three steps, where to go, what to get, what to drive, when to change. You diff on and diff on. Like there was no learning to it. I was just really disappointed with that. I know each to their own, but and there weren't like there was a lot of us in the chat. I think it was. <laughs> This was a new person. It was like three or four people in chat. I mean, I'm, I'm lucky if I get three or four people in my chat when I stream on Twitch. But so like, yeah, I don't know what my point of this is, but like, yeah, it just just sharing something that happened. I was I was gutted. Needless to say, I didn't stick around much more than about 10, 15 minutes. I even popped back like an hour later. And they were still there telling them how to do it, which was really disappointing. Right. Where is our P16? Is it in the garage? Is it on Black River? It's all the way over on Black River. Oh, it's got a long old drive. Where is it? It's here. Okay. Well, we're going to jump to that because we need to pull that through. Right, so beside us we've got the GMC. That's not really doing anything, is it? What is the time? I wonder if we can reach the garage in time. On my console save, I've been using the... JDE, a uh, modded version of this. Oh, it is awesome. <laughs> All wheel drive, the diff lock, slightly raised suspension, the old carriage that we can put on the front and on the roof with some spare parts as well, rotation tyres. <laughs> That's an absolute monster. I don't think if we sell ours and get half of our money even with our one uh, hundred grand I don't think we'd have enough to buy that version I would I would happily trade some of our trucks out for um, JBE modded versions because they're not they're, they're a little bit overpowered but they're not too they're not ridiculously overpowered I don't think and you don't have to use obviously everything that's this day you can still sort of keep it simple but just to have that extra fuel carriage on here and the ability to put flotation tyres on it would be nice. Or even just, you know, all-wheel drive diff lock. That would be nice to get that combination. No all-wheel installed. Diff lock is always on, so we have that. So it's just the all-wheel. That's the advantage there. Off the top of my head, I can't even remember if there is an all-wheel drive mod for this. Not mod, all-wheel drive upgrade, possibly. I'm not sure. I don't think there is. I think this, this, the sort of the downside to this monster is this forever rear-wheel drive. Right, back into the dam. not waste any time. We want to try and get as far as we can through through the dam. Just over an hour.
So we have a little, uh, little in cab. We don't do it very often. You know, she had a, an in game clock. Although, if there was an in game clock, that would be spinning pretty quick, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm looking, I don't see one. We do need some fuel though. Where did I leave the fuel? Oh, <laughs> where? Where did I leave the fuel? I think it's down by the quarry, isn't it? Oh. Careful down here, you pick up a bit of speed, you hit one of these stones and my P16 step back flips again. <laughs> it would be it would be typical, sods and all, but the only truck that we really roll is the hardest one to get back over. I know the fleet style went down what twice, but that was sort of at the same instance. The Westie's been over well, the White Western's been over once, I think. P16 twice. And in terrible spots as well. That's the worst thing about the P16 going over, is we need some awful, awful spots. So a few feet further. But that now, my friends, is it. That'll be our day. So next time out, we've got to get through up, up the hill and then through... On uh, Drummond, we've got to get to the port, grab the massive construction trailer, bring that all the way through, and we're going to try and run that the safe route. I yeah, know, boring. We're not going to try and take it across the river. Um, I, with my with my <laughs> JBE modded one, we went across the river and we stormed it. But with this one running as vanilla as it is, we won't be doing that. But hopefully, you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big, big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comment some feedback down there. If you wish to support the channel further, we do have memberships starting from 99 pence. All, all help is greatly welcome and appreciated. If not, just, just give it that like, give it a share, drop me a comment. helps to push the content a little bit further. Find more people like us who enjoy a bit of SnowRunner. You guys have a wonderful day. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.